not expect it to be this long. Here it is, folks. This is a video that has been a long time coming, at least for me. This is going to be my rant video on Mezco Toys and why I am done with that company all together. Now, before we get started with the video, I do want to mention I don't like making rant videos very often. You really got to piss me off in order for me to make a rant video on you. Um, also, I know that there are people who might be watching who like Mezco Toys. That's completely fine. I'm not attacking people who particularly like the figures at all or the company. I am going to be mentioning the types of people who seem like they would die for the company. Um, that's where it gets a little too much for me. Also, this is not any kind of personal attack on anyone at, you know, Mezco in particular, not any single individuals. This is, of course, this is a rant video. This doesn't have an intent to harm. What am I going to be doing? Like, seriously. This is just me voicing frustrations that I've had with a company that has led me to not want to buy any more of their products at all or support for the company uh, as you can see you may see that um, this is pretty much my remaining Mezcos uh, which because I have not decided to get rid of these yet I like Judge Dredd and I can't find a better Judge Dredd figure so I'm sticking with him right now until someone may give me a good price for him and then I want to keep this guy for my horror collection I'm doing a deal selling Deathstroke actually so um, and then I sold Nightmare or not Nightmare but uh, Ascending Night Batman Old Man Logan, and uh, I forget, uh, pretty much like anything else that I had. Oh, Deadpool, I sold Deadpool. Um, just a little bit of a side tangent. It's kind of, I've kind of blamed myself for this. Uh, someone ripped me off on uh, Daredevil. Um, I should have seen it coming. He did not respond to many of my uh, messages on Instagram that I needed him to, but I sent out the figure anyway. He never paid me back. So uh, I, I hope, uh, if you're watching this, dude, um, I believe in karma, so that's really all I'm going to say. And, uh, yeah, so with all of that, um, all pretty much almost all of my Mezcos are gone. And I'm going to go ahead and pinpoint uh, pretty much every issue I have with the company. Mezcos release dates are terrible. And how can a company's release dates be terrible, you ask? Well, uh, you go to Mezco's website and it says one thing. You go to Amazon, it says a completely different thing. You go to Big Bad Toy Store and that updates by the month, which means something says it could be out in July of 2018. And it's July of 2018 and then it just updates to the next month. And then Entertainment Earth, the same thing, has different dates. Now I do believe Amazon probably has the more reliable dates um, because I did order their, um, old man logan originally from amazon and that the pre-order stopped like it was you know in stock um in may so i would trust amazon more if you're looking for more reliable uh release dates um mezco it does not update at all why there are delays on action figures as long as when to expect the figure actually to be out. Have you ever tried to pre-order an item on Mezco's website? Well, uh, a lot of the times I see $20 non-refundable deposits for figures that are already $80. Uh, not in my opinion, just in my opinion, don't know how this really works with particular twin companies, but non-refundable the deposits are a freaking joke. Now, Big Bad Toy Store has that but that's with a lot of premium stuff, like premium statues, premium Hot Toys figures. I can kind of get behind that. An $80 figure that I just, I don't, I just don't see that for Mezco. Like, the, I, to me, the $20 non-refundable deposit, that is highway robbery. What is the money for that deposit going towards? Pretty much your pockets. That's all I could see because they not explain why there are such astronomical prices for a non-refundable uh, fee. Like, there's not a fee for Amazon if you order a Mezco on Amazon. Why would I order on your own website for basically $100 per figure when I have Amazon Prime and I can just get the figure for 80 bucks flat as a pre-order without paying any other premiums? Maybe a little bit of tax, but that's like a dollar or two of tax at Amazon. So please stop me down in the comment section if I'm wrong about this. But from what I've understand, 
after seeing it a few months ago. Uh, Toy Fair 2018. Mezco had their press event, and um, they would only allow the press to pretty much take pictures of the figures. They would not allow any kind of questions asked. Mezco uh, invited all of the media folks to their booth on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. so we could kind of get the first look at, uh, you know, stuff that's going to come out in 2018, 2019. And, um, and that was that. They gave everybody swag bags like they normally do. And it was this Batman, the Ascending Knight Batman, which is uh, sort of like an all black variant. And they did not allow any interviews for the entire uh, duration of Toy Fair. So unfortunately, I had like 50, 100 questions that, you know, some of my questions, some questions from other people in the community. And it just was not happening. Now, I, I can only speculate. I don't know why they wouldn't allow any interviews or anything like that, but that's what it is. What does the word press event uh, imply? It, imp it implies, excuse me, that uh, the press is going to be taking a look at your products for, you know, in regards to Mezco stuff. They're going to be taking a look at your products and they're just going to be asking you uh, questions about some of your products. The fact that you would not even take time for you guys to just answer any questions for those people is just just shows how you probably treat your fans and not only that but like they mezco had a great feeling that they were going to get asked about the issues they've been having they don't want to admit that they are having issues as a company they only want to like say and hear the positive things about their company that's just completely shitty even for like, like San Diego Comic Con and New York Comic Con, I'm pretty sure um, Hasbro does a lot with the press, like the toy press. They'll like have a big panel. Uh, they'll talk to particular YouTubers who are considered toy press and um, ad answer questions. Um, it's it's crazy that a company that I feel like Hasbro has even more of a right. The, the right like they ha even have more of like a reason to like not really answer questions but they do anyway and just to see that mezco doesn't it just kind of they, they look insecure honestly now earlier in the video i mentioned that i'm not talking about anyone in particular this isn't an, atta a an attack on anyone like if you're watching i hope you don't feel attacked of course like if you're a fan of mezco but please you gotta at least somewhat level with me that there are people that collect Mezco 112s. You might have met them. You might have seen them online. That just will pre-order anything. Mezco can do no wrong, apparently. And they, if the pre-order is sold out on Mezco's website, then they'll go to eBay where the figure's not even out yet. And the person's charging like three or four times the figure. And it, again, it's not out yet. And... People will pre-order it just to have it. I'm like, oh my god! If you have to pay three or four times the figure of a figure that's not even out yet, like, just don't even bother. It must have not been meant to be. If the you can't get the figure, like, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I feel like it comes down to sometimes like people get envious of people's collection on like Instagram or Facebook toy groups, and they want to have the same thing, so they have to get as many of those same figures as some of the other people are getting um that's that's a, a bit of a big issue honestly like I'll, i'm gonna say this and i've had to, exp have to go i have to go through this sometimes um if you cannot af afford a figure in particular it's probably best that you don't get it so that way you're not like like losing money like please remember to eat that, that sometimes yeah, I know new Marvel Legends come out and I get excited, but I have to remember that I'm a human being and I have to eat. I can't just you know eat ramen noodles. I have to like actually save money as well as like put it in savings and all that. But like a little bit that going off, I kind of went off a little bit, but you'll you'll see it. Like uh, I definitely more lately now, people are like calling out people who one are selling pre-orders for figures that aren't even out yet for three or four times the price and two the people who are willing to actually put down the pre-orders um they blindly get these figures without uh you know addressing any kind of issue with the figure 
as well as they'll pretty much buy the same six figure like the same figure six times is what i mean to say and pretty much talking about wolverine we've had so many wolverines and people are just like getting every single wolverine coming out i'm just like they, they, they don't all look that great in my opinion like old man logan looked kind of special but that was pretty much it so you know it's funny um some of the summer exclusives like you saw earlier which was uh batman beyond and uh special ops punisher um when they were the pre-orders were dropped um mezco would allow about six per household and then they wonder why people wonder why they sell out so quick because the scalpers are getting in ahead of time and picking up the pre-orders and then again like i saw earlier they'll be selling it for profit and uh yeah in the past mezco definitely had an issue with quantities when it comes to like you know supply and demand um now they've gotten be uh, better about it because ascending knight batman is actually a still a pretty easy figure to come by and uh that is a particularly better mezco figure uh old man logan is still pretty easy to get but a lot of other figures like when they came out like the uh the punisher from 2017 once that was you know released uh like within days if it like out of pre-order in stock uh it sold out they didn't make any more uh same thing with some of their dc stuff like um like the superman the comic superman as well as the uh flash and um i just think that's crazy that you would allow someone that to buy that many exclusives when you already limit them to i've heard that they only sold they only made five thousand right now like for the mezco online stuff like five thousand and then you're allowing people to buy six of that come on you gotta be thinking much smarter than that next time. I mentioned uh, the summer exclusives earlier. I feel like a lot of summer exclusives that Mezco makes um, would do so much better if they were available as just regular figures. I, I don't say retail because you know they don't go to like Walmart or Targets. Retail pretty much being that they go to specialty shops and comic book stores as well as online retailers like. Um, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, and um, Amazon. But, um, yeah, like, Spec Ops, or Special... I keep saying Spec Ops, but Special Ops, Punisher, and Batman Beyond. Uh, those were figures that we were very much excited for, and now you have limited pretty much the, qual um, the quantities of figures that are very much in high demand, whereas with, let's say, your 7th or 6th uh, Wolverine you've made so far is so easy to find... Uh, people are, I feel like people will get more fatigued from those type of releases and you guys would make so much more money if you just made the figures that are exclusives available for retail. Now I don't know if there's licensing issues but I don't feel like that's too big of an issue. I'm not really sure why they would limit the quantities of a highly demanded figure. So let's talk about the traffic that happened when uh Special Ops Punisher came out. That was a shit show. And that was when a lot of people started to get very unhappy uh, in bigger numbers uh, at Mezco. So they just randomly dropped the Special Ops Punisher. Um, people flood over to the website. The website crashes a bunch of people. So I was on break at work and I decided to refresh the page and it would crash for me as well. One of my buddies was trying to pick up that figure. He tried to do it like three times. It, it failed like every time for him. But then he looks in his bait sta uh, bank statement, excuse me, and he sees that his card has been charged multiple times because of the non-refundable deposits. Um, and it was like um, pretty much getting three figures. So he's either getting one or three figures. I'm not entirely sure what is happening with that. But um, if he only gets one figure and he doesn't get refunded for the non-refundable payments which are meant for if you're actually getting the figure if it just took his money uh he should um <laughs> i don't i mean suing is one thing i know that sounds a little ridiculous but that's that again i mentioned again it's highway robbery um mezco really needs to prepare next time for an in just a giant number of people coming to their site whenever they randomly drop an exclusive like that uh that is just crazy they were most definitely not prepared for the traffic. And then the people who did get the figure, um, they again, it was like the scalpers, and they all got lucky. And then people, some people actually, you know, are just keeping one for themselves, of course. 
uh, you know, normal collectors, of course. And then a lot of people, this was on a Sunday, I'm pretty sure. Um, some people, you know, had to go to church or they, some people actually work on Sunday. Um, some people have things to do and they can't just be on their phone or their computer and pick up action figures right when they drop. That you need to plan a much more convenient time. That is just, that's, was that was crazy i saw so much backlash their customer service is a freaking joke uh the same buddy i mentioned earlier who had the issue with the non-refundable uh refundable payments when he was trying to get the special ops punisher uh he got a um he actually ordered it for big bad toy store it was a sending night batman and um i can kind of understand where this comes from but he con he called mesco they said pretty much take it up with the store you you dealt with which like NECA themselves, they you contact NECA. Yeah, they don't have a web. They don't, they have a website, but they don't have a straight up phone number. They you pretty much have to go on Twitter to do it. And um, you know people have pretty good customer service directly with NECA. They'll get they'll you know ship them a broken figure, get a fixed figure, worked out joints and all um, back from them. And also DC collectibles is still really good with their customer service because you know some people get broken figures like back when the batman animated series was coming out some of the figures got broken and then people were getting um fixed figures from dc collectibles themselves i don't know why mezco can't just do it themselves when you know neca does it i feel like neca is much more bigger than um than mezco i uh i mean i don't know if that's the reason why but i just i don't see a true reason why you can't just ship them uh, a working figure if they just give you back product you should have some product in your warehouse uh, ready to go for um, for broken figures now I mean you can kind of argue with Marvel Legends that happens but the thing is that sometimes stores get certain case you know a certain number of cases with Marvel Legends and there's also figures of equal value that you if you the figure breaks you can go to the store get the return there no problem I've had that done before, and then I just pick up the figure that I needed uh, somewhere else because it was actually pretty abundant. Um, and then the person um, that I talked about again who was having the issue with the Sending Knight, uh, I will be fair, Big Bad Toy Star gave him a little bit of trouble. Um, they actually sent him a figure again, but it had a broken hand part, and it was like, um, it was as if they sent him the same broken figure again. Uh, and then it took him an extra week just to get the parts that were broken to him. Uh, but then it was finally an issue that was fixed. It shouldn't have happened on Big Bad Toy Store's part. But also, again, Mezco really should have stepped up and said, Yeah, no problem. We have extras in our warehouse. You send us the broken one, we'll send you one back. Now, it slipped my mind completely, but I should probably be fair and talk about their quality. Because I've just been talking about their practices so far. The actual quality of Mezco 112 figures... Uh, I don't really have many, you know, other recent, like, other lines from Mezco, like the Living Dead dolls or anything. Uh, I usually just get uh, 112 stuff. Uh, their quality, I do think, has improved in some areas with the plastic itself. Um, you know, like, Daredevil, I felt like, had some issues with the joints, like, in the, the, um, the ball-jointed feet, of course. Like, I feel like uh, the wrist as well on that particular figure would break. Uh, wrists, um recently like with the sunday night batman deathstroke uh super easy to pop the hands in and out so that's a positive there of course um but still they have issues with certain joints like the clothing again you know limiting articulation which i guess is kind of part of the deal you get cool clothing on the figures but not great articulation um but the feet pegs uh not the feet pegs but like the um just the feet in general are a big issue with mezco figures um, not really much else in terms of body molds. I mean, they have pretty good articulation already, but, uh, getting him, getting them into like poses with like Marvel Legends or SH figure arts or even Mayfax figures is a little bit, you know, hindered because, you know, they have so much covering the, um, the action figure itself. And then sometimes their accessories just straight up break. I've seen that with particular, uh, you know, I haven't had that happen to me yet. Thank God. But I've seen that happen with people on Instagram and all that, like some of the guns would break because the guns actually are pretty brittle. Um, and like, uh, I had one of the stands, uh, the one of the like wire capes or whatever, I think those clips for the capes for a Sunday Night Batman, they snapped off of the 
wire piece there so that was a bit of an issue so uh quality control has gotten better in my opinion with mezco but not to par to where it should be now it's all been really leading up to this one issue my biggest issue with mezco is that i think they're lazy i think they are so painfully lazy that it made me stop collecting these figures and case in point was the new Logan figure, which is basically going to be Old Man Logan, but of course just, you know, younger Logan. Um, they announced that right after uh, Old Man Logan came out, and uh, I'm sure people asked for that figure, but I don't feel like it's ne super duper necessary at this point, because that was, again, pretty much their sixth, um, their sixth Wolverine. It was on the same body as pretty much the previous Wolverines, uh, since they already have that body, it was easy to just churn out the figure. Uh, pretty much a lot of the accessories with Old Man Logan are available with this new Logan. And that that pretty much like set me over the edge a little with this company. Also, like a lot of their other figures have been having less accessories like Old Man Logan. Now, Ascending Night Batman has actually a lot of accessories. Um, but like the newest Netflix Punisher has like what four guns, a few hands, uh, an uh, alternate head, and that's pretty much it. And even the alternate head is pretty much the entire neck. It's not like you know just the head itself. It seems like they would, it's gonna have like limited articulation as well as not being able to you know kit bash it a little bit easier with other Punisher figures. So it just feels like they're taking steps back. But going back to Wolverine, um, let's go has a uh, has an Instagram. And I decided, you know, I'm just going to comment. Like, I'm not going to be nasty, too nasty or anything, but I just, just pretty much sarcastically said, let's churn out, uh, let's take the same body that we've already made and just churn out another uh, figure and just give them jeans and call it a brand new figure. And I thought it was a joke. Like, I, it, it is still a joke. It's hilarious that they're doing this. Um, they deleted my comments. Now... I, I tried to make sure that they actually deleted my comments before I decided to put it in this video. Because I didn't want it, want it to be like there was a certain Instagram issue that was happening. No, 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 no. Uh, two other people, uh, including the one guy that has had issues with Mezco earlier that I mentioned. Um, yeah, they, they s tried to look at their replies to my comment, and they couldn't. That means that Mezco deleted my comments. I commented again saying, uh, oh, I see you're deleting comments. That got deleted. Um, that, that was actually the, the breaking point that hit me was, um, that same day that that happened, I said that I was going to sell every single Mezco that I have. And I pretty much almost have, with the exception, again, of that one guy ripping me off. Um, but, yeah, no, that, uh, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm having a little bit of an issue trying to say it, but, like, I just, it's baffling. I don't understand why you chill, did the children run that company. Absolute children run that company. I don't care if you say, oh, they, they're they're nice, you know, they're really nice when you talk to them. I don't give a shit. They prove to themselves that they are not open to criticism, any kind of criticism. Todd McFarlane makes some of the most painfully average figures of all time, and he, even he will allow comments... Like, he'll make a Daryl figure. People will comment, Oh, I see we got our 17th Daryl. He won't delete comments. Yeah, sure, maybe he won't respond to them. But, like, that's better than deleting the comments. When Todd McFarlane, who I believe, from what I understand, has a big ego, is willing to keep that criticism on his page, and Mezco isn't, that is sad. That is pathetic. Absolutely unacceptable. That is children again children run that company hasbro can take some of that criticism sometimes too um steve uh really i can't remember his name he's like mr stevie on instagram um i just you can't remember his last name but he pretty much runs like everything star wars related at hasbro he is very open and talking to fans and he sometimes will address criticism that the line has and he's very good about it. And even, like, the guys who run Marvel Legends, they will, uh, you know, accept criticism. I there is, I truly believe that there is no reason for Mezco to act the way that they acted. And 
like it's not like I'm personally attacked or anything. Like I don't care how how they treat me. Honestly, I'm a big boy. I can take it. My hurt feelings are hurt, but it just I'm more angry at the fact that you just straight up told me that you don't want to hear any kind of criticism. Uh, they blocked. They like disabled comments on their uh, special ops uh, Punisher posts because they were getting an influx of hate comments and just people pissed off, which they should be. They did not prepare properly for the release that figure they dropped that release without any kind of warning in the middle of the day on a sunday afternoon when people are probably on at church some people are even at work and they dropped that pre-order for 80 dollars, and it sold out immediately people had stuff to do that day um and it just sold out and scalpers now have that those figures and they're going to be selling it again like i said for like over 200 dollars. the fact that you are not able to prepare for uh, the crashing of your site as well as the low quantities of your site as well as people getting mad at you because you dropped a figure that no one realized that they wanted and then didn't have enough of it sold out of it the fact that you weren't willing to accept the backlash shows just how fragile you are as a company just how fragile your ego is and the fact that you only want to hear the good things they love it when you guys give them only positive feedback they will completely ignore or delete comments that are negative. A ter absolutely terrible company. Even, you know, I heard that Randy Falk can sometimes be a little bit abrasive when it comes to some of that criticism, but at least he can respond to it. The fact that you were just deleting it and ignoring it, it's ex pretty much ignoring its existence completely, just shows how insecure and fragile you are, as well as big, big headed you are as a company. I. I'm almost just like can't even speak right now. I'm so pissed off about it still. So that is the reason why those are the main reasons why I, I'm done with Mezco. And I do apologize for the long video. Um, I feel like I did ramble a few times. I do apologize. Um, it's just absolutely insane the issues that this company has been having. And it, oh, they, but the company only seems like they're going up. Usually, when this happens, companies seem like they're going to go down. mezco has been going, or excuse me, uh, May, uh, Mattel has been going down for years because they aren't, uh, you know, improving on some of the criticism that they've had in the past. I mean, they have improved on some of their figures, but it's not enough. Um, at this rate, I, 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 I'm not saying I hope, but I wouldn't be surprised that Mezco, uh, their line would just tank because of the, you know the terrible terrible relationship that they have with some of the customers now if you've had great relationships with mezco um i'd like to hear about it down in the comments if you have your issues let me know again this is my personal issues this isn't like me saying everyone's gonna have this issue but it's just me venting my frustrations about the company if you like mezco this not this video is not meant for you guys to change your mind about mezco if you like mezco more power to you i can't stand mezco anymore uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. I don't make rant videos like this very much. I don't particularly like to. I like to keep it positive on my channel, but sometimes I just have to let it out. Um, thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below. Like, favorite, share, all the other stuff. Uh, follow me on Instagram for more content over there, and I will see you guys later.